Hello Zero K fans, sorry for the slight delay, the games have been using the latest engine and there are some technical issues. You'll actually notice a few in the game as well, just the camera is a bit wonky. I submitted a bug report, they still haven't addressed it, but whatever, it, it's workable. Anyway, sorry about that, so we're going to be starting out the game with Anarchid and Ivan D. I think I mentioned that in Shadow 333, if I haven't, that's who I am. And this is Zero K Exhibition Matches. Anyway, let's get to the game, because frankly I'm getting confused. So we have Anarchid over on the south side of the map going for light vehicles while Ivan D is in the north side of the map going for cloaky bots. And Ivan D is also messed up slightly. The factory apparently is messing up and going north. That is unusual. There is actually a widget that automatically sets the orientation of the factory towards your opponent. Sometimes it does mess up. That I'm curious if that's actually a typical thing or that's gotten bugged in the latest engine. I don't think so. I think it just that's a spurious bug that occasionally happens. If it doesn't load in time when you set it. Anyway. So Anarchy going out to scout, setting up just a few darts. While Ivan D is well with the drones. Actually, Ivan D going fairly aggressive. Opening up with about five drones. Sorry, not five drones, five. I don't know what game I'm thinking of. Open up with five glaives. I must be thinking of StarCraft for some reason. Five glaives going out. And those five glaives are probably not going to find too much. I mean, they're going to find the normal thing. He's going to see, you know, Anarchid's building up in the main base. They're starting in the center. Good to check, though, because, of course, players can start out at the corners or the center. Usually 1v1 players will start in the center. However, Ivan D is showing that that's not always the case, starting in the northwest. Anarchid expects someone starting in the center of the map, and they are finding that's not the case. They know where Ivan D is now, but they don't know exactly the layout of their base yet. But they know where they are, so that's good information. Well, Ivan D is going for... Oh, not even getting the metal extractor. Just about got it. That metal extractor should have gone down. Unfortunately, Ivan D's glaive decided to stop firing. And that will not be a viable target any longer. Well, actually... Whoa, whoa, never mind. Anakin's actually moving out with some Scorchers. Yeah, Ivan D even pointed that out. Anakin moving out with some Scorchers, but that gives that glaive another chance at the at the metal extractor. Forcing the Scorchers back, slowing Anarchid's raiding efforts. If that glaive gets out of there, that'd be even more worth it. Yep, Glaive gets on the hill. It's perfectly safe. And of course, there's another Glaive over in the... Well... Okay, there we go. Now it's safe. This is Glaive over in the southeast side of the map, making sure Anarchid can't expand there, though Anarchid far more focused on the southwest side of the map. Ivan D, however, has not really been scouted or raided at all. Ivan D's actually doing pretty well for themselves right now. And there comes another Glaive. This won't do much good, unfortunately. There is a laser turret in the way. That Lotus stops everything. A couple more Glaives are coming down, and it looks like... Anarchid is now moving forward to harass. Surprisingly, going for the center? Why, why are they going for the center? They must... Aren't they expecting that Ivan D is up front here? That doesn't make much sense. They should probably expect the northeast... Sorry, northwest. But that's not the case. However, Ivan D trying to raid once more. Not really... Yeah, Anarchid, send more glaives! I could use the metal! It'd be great! Love it! So Anarchid is... Prepping up a raid. Pretty powerful assault, actually. Wow, this is dangerous. Five Scorchers like this. There's one Defender and one Lotus. This is extremely dangerous. The Rector's coming out. There's a Scythe as well to help defend. There's five Scorchers coming in here. The Commander's right there. The Commander, I think, is Beam Laser. No, Commander's not upgraded at all. Ivan D does see what's happening, though. Oh, there we go. They do see what's happening. And they are... Well, the site's going to help deal with it, but unfortunately that site is not enough. And the commander is getting sniped. Oh, not quite getting sniped. That site actually does do a quite good job of defending the commander. Does not get killed, and those Scorchers go down as a result. It's very close. This is... This is pretty bad. I, it's unfortunate, too. However, I shouldn't say it's that bad. Anarchid actually doing a great job harassing Ivan D's economy. Ivan D just leaving their glaives out there and not trying to harass and defend at the same time. And the commander, is it going to go down? Well, literally, yes. It is, in fact, going to go down into the ground. Scorcher, however, does die, stopping the raise, stopping the dive. The attempt of the commander's life, not quite over, though. Another Scorcher comes in, gets rid of a Rector for free, and... Ivan D continue to, to try to build up towards the center west side of the map, but Anarchist harassment finally ended by a scythe. Ivan D's commander with 270 health left just barely survives that. 
I mean, it was that was a clutch thing. And basically, it came down to that scythe not getting killed. Where's that scythe? Where's that hero scythe? I do not see the hero scythe. Well, one of these scythes, anyway. Unless it's... Well, anyway, yes. One of the scythes, or possibly one of the wrecks on the ground. No, one of the scythes. It's still alive. I have indeed going for a counterattack with about five scythes. Very risky, but this could work. One of the scythes has been spotted out. Gets rid of one of the scorchers. Gets rid of the darts, no problem. Needs to recloak though. But once it gets, once it recloaks, that is going to be extremely dangerous. Anarchid, surprisingly, not getting a lot of darts to screen for this. I've mentioned before. This has happened before, actually. It was on Kaleo. One of the analysis I did. The first analysis I did actually had scythes and darts, and I kind of demonstrated how darts are a great screening tool. And Anarchid is using it for that. Losing the, the Scorcher, though, but still. At least knowing where those sides are. So knowing where to move the Scorchers, and, and Ivan D, knowing where Anarchid is moving their Scorchers, and Ivan D is really paying attention to that. Well, okay, they're not paying attention, they're probably guessing. But they're guessing correctly, that's the important thing. And Anarchid making a really bad read there, going towards the southwest. This is actually not a bad idea in theory. But Ivan D just basically realized, well, Anakin's going to go over defending their southwest thing, and I'm going to attack the southwest, because it's an expansion. The expansions are usually less well defended. But no, I'm going to attack center. I'm going to attack head, either head-on or attack the center of the map itself. And actually, it looks like they're trying... No, they don't know there's a commander there. They know there's something there. It's on radar. However, in the meantime, I'm going to go for that and go for that metal extractor while Ivan D... Gets hit once again, Anarchid coming in with more Scorchers. Ivan D is actually ahead though. Ivan D is ahead economically, they do have more Metal Extractors, they do have a little bit to deal with in terms of, well now a leveler. And the sides are going for a comp snipe. But this is, well actually, no, will work. Enough size, one extra size comes in there, that should finish it off. Get rid of the Lotus though, needs to get rid of that Lotus. Okay, the Lotus is down, and those sides, oh, they should have retreated. Retreat, come back in, retreat, cloak, come back. That would have killed it. That's the thing with scythes, you gotta be really careful how to use them. While Anarchid, now they have another counterattack. They have more levelers coming in. All those scythes, I mean, that was 1000 metal. Easy. No! 1250 metal! Actually, even more than that, because it was like 6 scythes in total. So yeah, we're looking at about 2000 metal worth of scythes. For reference, Actually, although immediately that worked out fairly well in practice. I don't think it quite made cost. It did slow Anarchid stuff down. But yeah, that's... Bear in mind that Scorchers are 130. Scorchers are half the cost. That would be like 10 Scorchers. Which isn't quite what they killed. Although it's pretty close, actually. Yeah, I'd say it's about the same. So it would be roughly for cost. But the problem, of course, being the sides died in enemy territory. So that's... How much reclaim is that? 570 reclaim. Yeah, that's pretty big. But Ivan D continuing to go for scythes, actually. Scythe Glaive, some Rockos, just for extra support. Extra fire support. Anarchid, however, they're taking a lot of the map. Ivan D is taking less of the map, but far more of... Well, far more of the economy. Are they overdriving? How much are they overdriving? 2.2, and that's... 3.2. Yeah, okay, they're overdriving a fair amount. It's like 50% boost inside their main base. That does help, but overall, the players are fairly even. So it's not a particularly lopsided match. Actually, Anakin going far more for the overdrive than Ivan D ever has been. Anakin nearly doubling with overdrive. Ivan D is only like... Oh, actually down to 2.3. Never mind. They're not really overdriving much anymore. So yeah, that's the thing. And Anakin just surrounding at this point. I mean, Ivan D trying to break out, trying to set up more metal extractors, and they're naked expanding. So this is very risky. But Anakin is hitting the most defended point of the map. So Ivan D can get away with this. Though Anarchid at the same time is building up their own metal extractors. While Ivan D comes around the back. Which is a free harassment. This is free. These glaives, they get the they get the base and that's done. At the same time though, Ivan D's forces are being pushed back against Anarchid's vehicle wall. Rockers are trying, but they're not going to do too much. Glaive gets rid of the mason. Should be able to get rid of everything around here. And Anarchid, they're moving their, back their commander to defend. Those glaives will probably run into this lotus over here before that happens. They'll like kill this metal extractor and then go back and hit the lotus if, if they're going to move at all. I expect they do that, but apparently that's not going to happen. Now Ivan D... Well, they're going to have to deal with air now. They switched pretty... No, still Scythe Rocco with some glaive. Yeah. Pretty heavy on the Rocco though. It's kind of risky against the Scorchers. It can sort of work because Scorchers have a hard time dodging. 
I, they have to turn. They are vehicles after all. They can't just change their... They can't change the momentum that easily. So it kind of makes sense. And darts coming into harass, well, that's what they do. Darts harass. I mean, they're, I've mentioned before, darts are basically half of a dagger. With, like, a fifth of the HP. I think. It's like, what is their HP anyway? 120. Actually, it might be about half the HP, come to think of it. Yeah, they're basically half a dagger. And it's always worth remembering that. I have video, however, able to get away from that Scorcher, and now they are on a free... Well, not quite a free ride for harassment. They can kill this metal extractor. If they go south, they're fine. They kill this metal extractor, and then they go south, they're in good position. If they go north, there's a Stardust there, and I don't think Ivan D... Are they aware of that? They are fully aware of that. So they will not run into that at all. Now, Ivan D has quite the Rocco army right now. Kind of scary, really. Like, dozen Roccos, which at this stage in the game is pretty impressive, especially given how much Anarchy has been focusing on Levelers and Scorchers, both of which are fairly well countered by Roccos. The Levelers far more so than Scorchers, but still. And Anarchid, they did have a Reclaim Force forward, this is a good idea. Actually, that's something Ivan D hasn't been doing, and Anarchid has been regularly throughout. They have had, I mean, their Commander's been reclaiming, their Workers are reclaiming. They actually have more Metal Extractors now, anyway. But they have been reclaiming. Just around the map, always a good thing to remember to do that. And of course, they have gone for the air switch. They are going heavy for air. Wow, they're setting up a lot of Ravens. This is basically meant to be a surprise attack. Probably not going to go for the comm snipe. They might, but the commander has been inside the base, and at this point, 27 metal. That's like maybe one sixth of the available metal, and that'll be it. I don't imagine they're going to go for a comm snipe. Although they might. I mean, a comm snipe is a common thing to go for. And it looks like we have. What do we have building up here? Terraform for the Rocco. I think that was a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> It'd be kind of interesting though, I don't... I think Rocco range is actually increased by height. You know, going for a Stardust on the hill, which is not going to work out too well. Unfortunately, with the Bombers coming in, there's half a dozen Ravens already. That is going to be painful. And the Scythe coming in here, and Anakin's commander being upgraded once again. I have any moving in at a really bad time. This is not going to work out at all. That Scythe... I don't know what it was trying to do, but it is not going to accomplish anything. At the same time, Anakin moving in here looks like they're going to probably go for the kill. I think at this point we're going to see the attack coming in. Because Ivan D's commander is a powerful defensive measure. Well, shotgun. Yeah, shotgun, that's pretty powerful defensively. So that's basically the big defense that Ivan D has. And there they come. The Ravens are, in fact, moving in. They are going to be attacking the commander because that's probably... Well, at least four of them are going to attack the commander. Like, four on the commander, or... No, not even. Three on the commander, a couple on the caretakers, one on the lotus... That should basically clear up the entire base. Now, I don't know if Anarchid's going to micro it that well. We'll see. What are they going for? They are not going to attack. No, they are going to attack every... Yeah, they just went for the commander. And Ivan D throws in the towel, realizing there's not much they could do. And they were surrounded the entire game. That, I mean, the thing is, they think they managed to get the comm snipe. That would have destroyed all this build power, stopping this front expansion area. But that would have required having moving back with the size. It was a bit of a tricky micro thing that they didn't manage to take advantage of. And Anarchid was able to get away with it. So with that, Anarchid takes that game. So I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to have another one for you in just a moment. It will oh, and Kane, and it will be on Baron. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.